<laughs> now, what about this Ben Askren but fight? I was looking forward to seeing it, man. I, I was watching it, like, in my office, like this. <laughs> That's the fact. That's the face, bro. That's <laughs> okay, guys. I'm just. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Okay. There's a fight coming up. There's a fight coming up between a, an MMA legend. I'm gonna say legend for multiple reasons. Now, um, not only being undefeated until getting to the UFC, but also on the receiving end of of the fastest UFC knockout. First round knockout in history against Jorge Masvidal. His name's Ben Askren. He is going to be fighting Jake Paul. And uh, look, I have seen a bit of Ben Askren in the cage. Um, I've seen a bit of Jake Paul sparring, but I haven't seen too much else. Now today, I do want to do a bit of a dive into that fight. I do want to look at Jake Paul's previous fights. I've seen Ben Askren's fights, but what I haven't seen... <laughs> What I haven't seen is Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh, you look at his fucking face. Look at this guy's face. Let me get this up on the screen. Okay. <laughs> I've never... <laughs> I've never seen Joe Rogan reacting to Ben Askren hitting pads. And I don't think I've ever seen this clip that he's reacting to before either. So we've got Ben Askren training recently for this fight hitting pads. Okay, so before we, before we do that deep dive, I do want to watch Jake Paul's last two fights uh the first one against anderson gibb the second one against nate robinson all i've seen from those are the knockout punches but but what we're going to watch today is joe rogan reacting to ben Askren hitting pads let's just see what happens it seemed like a gentleman's agreement to me a little bit right a little bit don't hit me in the head yeah yeah a little bit right yeah for sure maybe i'm not that into it to be honest <laughs> well i gotta I gotta admit that I was my anticipation level is very high. Oh really? I had Roy on the podcast. I had Mike on the podcast. You really sold that thing. And I texted you. I was like, "Dude, <laughs> you gotta calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta calm down." Because this thing's gonna <laughs> listen, First I love both of them. I love. Both hey of them. man, I get I get just as up for any fight. Doesn't matter if they're legends, retired legends, or current legends, or fucking YouTube stars. I still get up for the fight. Just like Joe. Me too, and I'm, I'm willing to sell. I'm a hype man. Yeah, me too. Me man. too, bro. Play hypeies. <laughs> now, what about this Ben Askren but fight? I was looking forward to seeing it, man. I, I was watching it, like, in my office, like this. <laughs> That's the fa <laughs> That's the face, bro. That's <laughs> Look at the cunt. Look at the cunt. All you have to do to get clicks these days is have Joe Rogan's face like that on one side of the screen and anything else on the other side of the screen. Just say that Joe Rogan's reacting to something and we get views. <laughs> you gotta love him. You gotta fucking love Couldn't him. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. See, I, I think Jake Paul stole the show. Oh, he did. Yeah, he By did. far. Well, okay, so I they're currently mean, discussing the previous fight against Nate Robinson. Nate Robinson. players are like, oh, yeah, I want to do it too. And they saw Nate Robinson, he's a meme for the next fucking But apparently, two weeks. They're saying Nate took it real well, and Nate jumped in and was laughing at all the jokes and, like, uh, you know, the text threads with other oh, good NBA on players. Him, yeah, everybody said that he took it real well. I actually didn't know that. That's, that's some good information, Joe. Um, I felt real bad for Nate Robinson. But hearing that makes me feel better because, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't really... A fan of Jake Paul boxing or having anything to do with boxing back then. Took it real well. The yeah, the high buff Jake Paul off that knockout is insane. Listen, dude. man, because the boxing community wants to see him lose. And in the next video, the we're going to watch that wants fight. To see him lose. Yeah. And now the MMA community has never backed Ben Askren. Now they're backing him because they want to see him beat fucking Jake. It's brilliant for him too. Smart you want to fight a guy with a big name who really isn't a striker at all? No, not at all. You know, in any facet. But if I see, if, if Ben had more time, because Ben hasn't really been training, you know, and then Ben had a hip replacement, and then Ben was never really a boxer to begin with. Far from it. You know, it's like, I, I really wish he had more time to prepare. I, I agree with you. He's a completely different level of athlete. From in terms of Robinson. Yes. Well, and also from Jake Paul. From In terms of, like, accomplishments. Ah, oh, not even close. Not even close. Accomplishments and also gas tank. That's going to be big in this fight. 
I mean, in, in terms of like there's no the ability to stay in there. No gonna have to put his lights out. Yeah, and the guy's got incredible mental toughness. But does he have the physical capabilities to box well? I gotta see what that hip's like. I don't even. I gotta see what the new hip's like. I can't say I've ever seen him hit pads. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> yeah, he can move. But is there any video? Let's have a look at that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Brendan? That's when Jake Paul takes a pee. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That's the thing about Ben, too. He's the perfect opponent because he talks shit, too. But he's such a goofy talk shit, too. Um, is there any videos of him hitting the pads? Go to... Please show us, Joe. Please. To Ben Askren hits pads. Go to Ben Askren hits pads. That's exactly what I would have done. You know what's cool is... You know, ben, you know ben still has a fights with the UFC, and they, he had to call the UFC. Wouldn't it be good if I had someone sitting over there, and I said, Look, mate, can you just um, bring up uh, Joe Rogan reacting to Ben Askren? Cheers, mate. And there it is. We get confirmation mm -hmm. to take this fight. Yeah, they let him. Yeah, let's see. Like, let's see this. It, okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Let's see his boxing. Give me some volume. Give me some video. Oh <laughs> man, ew, ew, gross music. Oh, oh man, Duke God, Rufus. This is what is happening here. I don't know. Someone may have made a training video from some old shit and just re Can I just it. see? What do we got here? Oh, he's just looking to take, take people down. down. This is all Mm -hmm. Just got re-uploaded. Um, is there another video anywhere of him hitting pads? I just want to see his hand combinations. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> I want to see his combos, bro. Can you go to YouTube? Just, just click at the videos link. Just click the Dude, videos you link. You just watch Ben versus fucking Damian Maya. Here he goes. Hmm. Give me a yeah, watch the Damian Maya fight. That gives a pretty good indication <sighs> of the striking so ability. And this is prepared for this fight? Is this um, recent? This is last 2019, it said. It's okay. all old footage. Right before his hip got fixed. Yeah, he had a really fucked up hip, even when really he wrestled bad, Jordan Burroughs. Well, he, you gotta realize, when he got the UFC, he was pretty confident. I, I ain't seen shit yet. Are they gonna show any more? Are they gonna show any more? They're not gonna show any more. Let's have a look at it. You know what, Joe? Fuck you. No, I'm just joking, bro. I'm just joking. You're one of my favorites. But you didn't show me what I needed to see. And what I needed to see was this. <laughs> Look at Joe's face. Look at Joe's face. Oh my God. All right. Um, shit. What are we going to do here? He's going to be able to absorb a lot of, you know, strikes. He's seen it all before. He has seen, like, respect to the guy, respect to the guy. He might not be firing off strikes, you know, like the best of them, but he's certainly received strikes from the best of them. And I don't think he's ever been knocked. No, he has been knocked out. What am I talking about? He got knocked out by Jorge. But apart from that, he ain't been knocked out. This guy ain't going to go away easy. But as far, you know, it's it's... There's two, there's two aspects to every sport, whether it be football, whether it be rugby or boxing. You've got offensive and you've got defensive. So defensive, I reckon Ben Askren could stay in there for 100 rounds. But offensively, can he actually do enough damage to finish this guy Jake? Jake Paul. I don't know. Let's have a look. Special about Ben, he's such... Well, everyone else is playing checkers. He's playing chess. He knows where to be to get done what he wants to get done. He's going to get a hold of it. Well, there'll be none of that, mate. To be honest, um, look, I'm going to be a fan of the fight. I can't wait to watch it. But this video was just about me seeing Joe's face and having to watch exactly what he was watching. Because at the end of the day, when you've got a face like that, that surprised look that Joe puts on. I think it's the eyes. It might be the eyes. It might. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's fucking crack up. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you enjoy this fight that's to come in the next video we're going to be going to jake paul and once and for all i'm going to watch jake paul defeats anison gibb via first round stoppage following that we are going to be watching jake paul versus nate robinson the full fight and i can't bloody wait so guys thank you for watching 
My name is Jacob McDonald. Consider subscribing if you have enjoyed the video. Consider liking it. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. It's February the 4th. Have a great day.